What's up, Rick? What's up? You ready? We ready to get started. Okay. Um, I saw the phone. What's I up, Rick? Um, what um? Now I know you don't wrote like like a bunch of books, but what's what's different about this one than all the previous ones that you you've done so far? Well, I never really intended to write this book. Um. One of my partners, one of my crimeys from back in the day, before anybody ever heard of Ice T, when I was out in the street doing that, whatever niggas do to try to survive, <laughs> uh, went to prison, and he uh, got a life sentence, and he returned home after 26 years. His name is Spike, and he was like, "Ice man, I want to write a book." And I said, "Well, everybody that been to prison wants to write a book, man. You know, like what makes you special." Right. But then at the end of the day, after I kind of shot him down, I wanted to help him. That was my homie. I was like, you know what makes you special is that you and I were on the same path and I made a detour and you went on and, 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 and you caught a bid. So that could have easily been me. I think there's a story there. Right. So uh, I called Kenny. I knew Kenny was into writing books. He had just done a book with Boosie. So I said, I said, Kenny, what do you think about this? He said, man, I think it's a phenomenal idea. So um, we took it to Simon & Schuster and got a deal and wrote the book, Split Decision. Hmm. Now, as far as, because, um, you know, your book d deals with this, like, you know, long-held friendships over, you know, unseen betrayal. Like, how, how can a youngster kind of decipher that, you know, because, you know, everybody thinks, oh, he's my friend over a week, you know, and that ain't the case. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? It's, the book show is really about two cats that both had a similar dream. You know, uh, we were both in the streets. We actually doing robberies. And um, hip hop, I got a hold of hip hop early. And I was like, man, I think I could do this. And I told my homies, I'm like, man, I'm about to, you know, get out the game and um, try to be a rapper. They like, nigga, you better get this money, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Because no, when I started rapping, nobody had ever bought a car rapping. You know, it was it was a dream. Like, come on, man. You think you're going to be a star? You in the mud, man. We ain't going to be stars. We, we gangsters. We hustlers. But Spike had the same idea. He was like, Ice, I'm fucking with you. And so he... He followed me, but when I decided to go cold turkey, see, the one thing in this book you're going to realize is that when you decide to quit the game, you got to quit the game. Right. You got to let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, the street infamy and fame have are two polar opposites. You know, when you're infamous, you're in the street, nobody knows your name, it's aliases, it's all kinds of shit that's keeping you away from being, letting people know who you really are. Right. Fame. It's an open book. They know who you are. They know where you are. They know what you do. Everybody, you know, you. so it's a different game. So I made that decision because I, I, I understood what fame was. My boy wanted it, but as most hustlers know, a lot of cats are like, I'll get out the game, but I got to make this last lick. Or I got to sell this last key, like Superfly, 30 mm -hmm. keys. That's going to get me out of the game. I need a, a war chest so that I can survive in the legit world until that clicks because I still want to live that lifestyle. 
Right. And Spike went off and set up two robberies. And in the process of one of the robberies, somebody got killed. Mm. And he uh, got served with the mastermind, which basically gets more time than the actual shooter. Mm. And a lot of kids don't understand that. You think you're sending somebody to do some work. Well, if you sent them, you'll get more time than the actual person that did it. Mm. And they, they hit him with a life sentence. They gave him extenuating circumstances. It was 25 to L, and they added another 10. And he was never supposed to come home. Um, I just hope kids understand, that anybody that reads this, is that we are all one decision away from changing the entire trajectory of our lives, and we make about 3,000 decisions a day. Hmm. Um, your next question is a decision. You know what I'm saying? So you're constantly making decisions, and you have to really take time, man, because 18, 19 years old, you're really not in the right mental to make long-term decisions, but we right. are doing things that could change the tra trajectory of your life. Right. Now, with, with all your s success now, do you think, because a lot of people think, well, w once I made it, I don't have to make these split decisions anymore. They're, they're not that pivotal. <laughs> it become more pivotal now because now you've got more to lose. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you tell me, if you say, Ice, man, meet me in the hood, we got a problem. There's no way I can win. Right. There's no way I can win because a lot of your options are different. You can hit me in the face. You can shoot me. They don't know who you are. They don't know what happens. I can't carry. I, oh, there's so many things I can't do now. Yeah. I'm at a disadvantage. Right. I'm at a so disadvantage. Many different variables. Exactly. So as you become successful and, and move into the square world, which I'm in right now. Right. You have to handle things differently, hmm. but the way you think is still like the old days, right? So it takes a while to transition out of that mental. In the old days, if somebody said something to you, and you had a problem. You going to knock on their door? Right. You can't do that no more. Right. You can't even send somebody right. because, like I said, that could get you put. So right. you have to handle things. Absolutely different. The only difference I've had is like my homies was like, if you really got a problem, you ain't never got to send us. We gonna take off on the niggas. You know, like we with that, you ain't got to send us. There won't right. be no paper trail to you. We got this. Right. So I had friends that was like, they moving on their own movement. They like if, if you got if, if I cross you and you got a homie that doesn't like it and he takes off, that's just how it happened. Right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. So um. I got friends around me that love me, but I've never really had that problem. I've never really had beef. I've never, I don't have any ops. I don't have that. I left all that stuff behind me. Right. Um, and I've been away from that shit for so long. But I think really what you're asking me is that those instincts don't really leave you. You just have to learn to adjust. Like Kenny says, you have to adjust your emotions. Your emotions are what get us in the most trouble as black men. It's emotions. Mm -hmm. And we have to get over a lot of our emotions. And also we have to get over uh, over that caring about how other people feel. You know? Mm -hmm. And once you can get over that, you learn how to handle things differently. book the art of human chess is a, a bestseller new york best time seller and this book here sold millions so all over the world all throughout the prison system this is the book the 48 laws of game pathology make sure you get these books if you can't if you don't want to buy the hardcover if you don't want to buy the paperback then the best thing to do is go to itunes on your cell phone and type in my name pippin ken and i guarantee you the book will pop up they don't work go to audiobook.com type in my name they don't work go to amazon.com type in my name anywhere books are sold all over the country you can get my 
my books. These are my best-selling books. You hear people talk about them all the time on Instagram, on Snapchat. These are definitely some good reads. Please get my book. And I guarantee you that you would never be the same. Your life would be impacted, and also your life would be enhanced just by getting these two books, The Art of Human Chess and The 48 Laws of Game, just like The 48 Laws of Power, just like The Art of War. Four, Four seven. seven.